How to read a coin? You must have read many stories in books, but have you ever tried reading a coin? A coin can tell us many stories too. How? Let's find out. Find a 1 rupee coin and observe how it looks. The coin has two sides. This is the obverse, what we commonly call heads. And this is the reverse, also called tails. The obverse is the front side or the head of a coin. On this side, the coin usually displays the motto of a kingdom or government. The motto can either be an image or words. For example, this is a 2000 year old coin issued by Gondophares, king of the Indo-Parthian kingdom in the northwestern region of India. Look closely. Can you see a man seated on a horse? It shows the king as a warrior and praises him as the king of kings Gondophares. The writing around the image of the king is in Greek. This coin is about 500 years old. It was issued by Mughal Emperor Akbar. The obverse contains writing in Persian. Experts say these words are known as the Kalima. A Kalima is a declaration of faith towards Allah. This tells us that the ruler practiced Islam. As you can see, earlier rulers used coins to showcase their power and their religious beliefs. But the national emblem and motto on the Indian coins today are non-religious in nature. This is because Indians are free to practice any religion they choose. The reverse of the coin is the back or tail of a coin. On this side, you can find interesting details like the name of the ruler or government, the date the coin was made, the mint mark or the place the coin was made, the value of the coin. Take a look at the reverse of the Akbar coin. Inside the curvy lines, we find the ruler's name, Muhammad Akbar Emperor. On the top left, we see the year 1563 AD, written according to the Islamic calendar. On the bottom right, we see the name of the mint, Agra. But what is a mint? A mint is a place where coins are manufactured. In the past, every large city or kingdom had their own mint and mint marks on their coins. For example, this mark resembling the Trishul on a Mughal coin was a symbol for the mint in the city of Agra in the 1500s. Do you know which authority or institution can issue coins and notes in India? That's right, it is the Reserve Bank of India. Today, India has four active mints and each has a mint mark placed below the year on the reverse of the coin. The four cities with the mints are Noida Uttar Pradesh, a dot below the year. Mumbai Maharashtra, a diamond below the year. Hyderabad Telangana, a star below the year. Kolkata, West Bengal, 
no mint mark. Isn't it fascinating how much a small coin can reveal about our past? Coins contain information about a place, ruler or government and about the people of a region. They are not just valuable for buying things but also for telling us about our history. Now, are you ready to be a detective? Take any coin that you have at home and look for the date. Below the date, you will find the mint mark. Look out for shapes like a diamond, a dot, a star or no shape at all. Note down the shape and guess the mint that manufactured your coin. Share a photo of your coin and observations with us. In this video series, we will look at some old rare coins in the Sarmaya Museum collection and learn more about our history and culture.